Hey guys, welcome back. Aquarius Exhibit here. Uh, just an update on the new tank. Um, got the tank here. It's installed in my basement. Everything's ready to go. I'm just waiting on some plumbing and a couple other parts and pieces. Uh, some GHL stuff. Um, got the power heads in there. Those are Tunes 6055 uh, electronics. Um, the eShop's overflow in the back there. <laughs> That thing is, I love it. It's it's so slim, super slim, and it's trim fitted so it's flush up against the back and side there, and combed in. Um, little current USA light in the back there just for a little ambiance, setting the mood. Um, right up here, uh, media chamber reactor for um, aquachar pro carbon probably, and then. Um, over here, macro algae reactor. It's gonna be, it's gonna be picking from the first sump. It's probably gonna stay out here and um, suction from the first sump back into the return chamber. And then the big guy here, the uh, sixty twenty four bash C twisted skimmer. Um, I'm having some three D legs printed or three D printed legs for it made up. Um, a friend of mine's doing some really nice custom work for me. And you got a bat or um, a CJ 1.0, and there's going to be a CJ 4.0 power in the the skimmer. Um, eventually, there's going to be a UV strung across the back, and GHL. I'm going to have a shelf built probably right over here uh, on the inside, and then um, I've got this USB controllable fan that is probably going to be either in that corner or if I can fit it when the plumbing comes down in here, um, maybe maybe up high or lower. Um, have some fence cut in. There's there's a power outlet or, or um, tube outlet right here. And then there's another one down at the bottom behind the reactor there. And then there's gonna be some, uh, some vents cut in the sides, stuff like that. Um, Got the RFGs from VCA here. Um, some other things coming for sure, but getting the rock work, rock work done. I cemented it tonight and I've got to do a little bit more adding of a uh, couple pieces here or there. Just rubble rock, trying to make a cave. I don't know how, I don't know. I mean, Tang people, give me a comment, but do I need a cave? Do I not need a cave? There's lots of swimming area and places to hide in the rock work, but I don't have any actual caves. So, um, I'm going to try to make one, at least one. So, and then with the plumbing, obviously three drains, one inch all the way in, um, the emergency will just be dropped right at the bulkhead and um, I won't be using the socks. I'm leaning towards like a Clarisy roller mat or something like that. I know some people have say have said like maybe the X filter or an ATS, but um, I don't know because my schedule takes me away from my house like ten to fourteen days at a time. Something like a roller mat might be more my speed, just because it's kind of like a set and forget, and it lasts a, a lot longer than. Uh, than having to clean off an ATS or something like that. So kind of leaning towards a roller mat. Um, yeah, other than that, um, got my CJ 6.0 in here. That's gonna be the, the main return. And then there'll be another CJ probably 6.0 for the UV. Uh, so I can vary the, uh, the volume going through there and slow it down or speed it up however I need to whether I'm looking at parasites or if I want to do algae. So, um, yeah, slowly making my way progress. Um, this is definitely where it's going to stay in the basement here. Um, I was originally going to have it on this wall here, but with the cove there, it doesn't really fit very well. So it actually fits really good right here. It's about eight and a half inches on either side. And... Although it kind of scares me not being able to access the back. I guess standard 
pretty much every single <laughs> everybody's tank you can't access the back just in case there's an issue although the only plumbing that i'm going to have in the back is pretty much from right here to right here everything else is peninsula style so it's definitely going to be a different build not uh not your most common but yeah um any questions, throw them in the comments, and I'll be updating again pretty soon. Some more parts coming in the mail. Thanks for watching, guys.